Danny Hauser has lived on 4th Street in Winona for most of his life. Since November of 1965. And he's never had too much trouble on this block. Nope, this is the first time. So it's even harder to believe what's happened here over the past few weeks. The first one happened three weeks ago, last Saturday night. But now there's two more in there from last night. So they must hold her lighter up there and just see how far she'll go. Across Winona's west side, someone has been lighting up American flags. So far, police have counted 15 homes that have been targeted, including there's Danny's. Three down by my right hand were about three weeks old. The other two up here are new from last night. Most of the flags have been attached to a residence on a pole. The crimes are happening on busy streets and safe neighborhoods, and it's got community members afraid for what might happen next. Well, they're all disgusted. You know, they're scared somebody's going to get hurt, you know, house burned down or something. The, the sidewalk and the the bush and the grass shows where the flag was burned. Blocks away from Danny, That's Patty Harris's house was hit burning. too. And it had to happen overnight, so in our sleep. Our bedroom's right there, you know, so it's hard to imagine why somebody would do that. First of all, just even burning the flag, let alone attached to someone's house. What kind of people would do that to our American flag? No respect. Danny's appalled by the action, but he's not backing down from his beliefs. We're going to put up a new flag, maybe tonight, and the camera and see what's going on. And officers are stepping up enforcement with the hope of catching the culprit before more damage is done. It's despicable. We've had our, our staff here is committed to finding out who's doing this. In Winona, Leah Lynchide, News 8.